<laughs> but here we go, guys. CWL Esports Season 3 Orphan Esports versus Evil Witches. And Evil Witches are in with the first attack. Here we go. Let's see who's going to take the victory today. We're zapping the Scattershot <clears throat> and the Expo over here at 9 o'clock. Starting off with some a loon. Is that more than one loon? I can't tell. Is it? Nope, just one loon and a baby dragon. Queen right there at 930. That early wall breaker just to bust open that open section even more. We find a couple of Teslas here nice and early. Queen should be going inside because we're going to use the king to funnel her in. Nicely done there. We have found four Teslas already. Don't know where the fifth one is yet, but all lots of Teslas out of the way. Nice and early here. Coco Loon going in. Does it find any traps? Not yet. We're going to engage the enemy RC here. Then Queen's going to go inside for that Eagle Artillery. We got one more Wall Breaker to get Queen all the way to the core. Let's see. Are we going to drop that Wall Breaker soon? We're starting to pull these Clan Castle troops. We only pull a handful of archers here. It must have just been the Wizard or something that pulled some of those archers. Queen's not quite in range of that Clan Castle yet. The Eagle Artillery activates, but down goes the Eagle. Here come the rest of the Clan Castle troops. Several Headhunters and a Baby Dragon. We got to freeze them up just to make sure that Queen stays alive. And we do have hybrid for the back end here. So we're going to go ahead and drop that siege barracks over at 630. And hybrid into the town hall it looks like. Where's the hybrid? There we go. Hybrid troops are coming in. They're going to go straight for that town hall. Peck on the outside. Augs in behind the miners. Queen's going to get that clan castle. We're going to go ahead and freeze up that town hall. So that way we don't have to invest a heal just yet. We can just pop that warden ability. Get away with saving the heals for later. Queen's going to work her way up toward that enemy queen. We might have to pop ability. Yep, she's going to go ahead and pop the ability there. Nicely done. Rage the miners in the core. They get through that multi-target inferno and go back down to meet up with a scattershot. The pathing looks good now, but we don't have queen ability. And she's in range of that single target inferno. She gets absolutely melted by that inferno tower. And we need these healers to switch to the hybrid. And they do. We're out of heal spells. We only had the one heal spell, I guess, because it was a zap hybrid. Not a normal hybrid here. So it's going to be close. Where's our royal champion? I must have missed something. I think the Royal Champion got absolutely melted by the first single target Inferno. Oh, that's bad news. That's bad news. Do we have enough to push through this? It's going to be close. Oh, the Skelly Trap does not help. Come on. If we still had Royal Champ alive, this would be a triple all day long. But now, I don't know. That Pekka's going to die, and it's just Wizards and Warden here. I think it's going to be a defense. It is indeed going to be a high, high percentage attack to start off the war for Evil Witches. But the RC dying early costed them everything and this one is going to finish at 95 percent we've got one archer beaten on a wall but that's not going to do anything man that single target inferno on the bottom side just targeted that road champion super early i guess that's super unfortunate but this one five percent short of being the triple not quite going to pull through and we'll see if orphan esports can take advantage of that and get a triple of their own to start off the war here we are, Orphan Esports in with their first attack of the war. Dogwolf just got the defense with a 95%. Let's see if he can get a triple here, or will he also come in with a 95% of his own on offense? We're bringing the Yeti Smash here with three witches. Classic spell comp here. No fancy zaps on this one. One poison, one jump, three rages, four rages actually, and two freezes. So we're going super rage heavy here. There is a single target Inferno here on the bottom side of the base that I am a little concerned about. That Warden's picking off a few buildings, getting a funnel here, but I don't think we're going to Warden walk that single target Inferno. I think we're just going to go ahead and start this Yeti Smash relatively soon. Right? Or am I wrong? What are you going to do here, Dog Wolf Wolf? What do you got in store for us? King going in at 3 o'clock. Three witches in behind against Evil Witches Clan. Brave stuff here. We're going to go ahead and send those Yetis in straight in at 4.30. Queen in behind. Bowler's in behind. Just hoping for the best. We're going to jump straight to that town hall, it looks like. There goes the first rage. Where's the jump? Where's the jump? Oh, what the heck is that jump? Dog wolf woof. My mans, you are crazy. The queen's going to walk the wrong way because of that jump. Now everything splits. Ah! Dog wolf woof. What are you doing with that jump? Some yetis and bowlers go up top, but they don't have the warden to support. And oh my gosh, this is going to be a one star. We still have the royal champion. Don't worry. We still have the royal champion that he's saving. Tornado Trap pops in the core. Town Hall is not yet activated, but we're about to hit 50%. There goes the 50% mark. Town Hall's awake. Queen is in range of a single target Inferno, which we're going to freeze up right there. Send that Royal Champ straight to the Town Hall to save this two-star. 
I say he saved this two star, but hold on, he's still got a chance at getting some really good percent, if not a triple here. As long as that road champ can get the town hall down, bounce a few extra buildings with her ability, the queen and warden can pretty much reach everything else. Hold on a second. Does this still have a chance to triple? We got that warden ability. Our road champion goes down. We got one more rage to help speed things up. In a minute on the clock, queen has to get through a witch that did not die from the enemy CC. We got Queen ability, we got Warden ability, and we got a Rage spell. Is anything going to go for that enemy Witch? She's going to pick off these healers. Oh, rip. We need a Warden ability here to save the healers. Warden ability, Warden ability, Warden ability now. Do it. Oh, never mind. Warden shoots the Witch like an absolute god. Does Queen beat on a wall here? She's going to fight the enemy King. So got Queen ability, we still got Warden ability in 30 seconds to go. Which wall does she pick? Oh my god, she picks the corner wall. That's the absolute best wall she could have picked. Now she can reach everything, literally everything, but only 20 seconds on the clock. I think we're going to see another 95. <laughs> what is going on? Dog Wolf Wolf here with the sketchy jump, but it was actually a 10,000 IQ play. We're at 95%. We're at 96%. Ooh, 97, but we're going to run out of time very soon. 98, 99? Oh, we run out of time. That clan castle's on 1 HP. Wow, 98%. That was literally, we just needed one more, maybe two more seconds. And that would have been a triple. What is this meta indeed? Dog Wolf Wolf coming in and getting the 98%. And we're basically tied two to two. And the next attack's already live. No time to spare. Evil Witches say, they're done. Let's go get it. They're coming in here with what looks like a flybrid. Trying to funnel over here at 8 o'clock that cannon with some loons, but we find a bunch of Teslas. We're taking 7 zaps and a quake to a flybird attack. But we also brought a poison spell, so I'm guessing we're going to zap that eagle artillery and maybe the scattershot with it. Somebody's got some McDonald's Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's in YX or if it's me. But my goodness, here we go. We're finally back in. Spinny wheel's gone. We find 4 Teslas, not just 2. 5 Teslas, the entire Tesla farm. Over at 845. Queen and the Ice Golem. I'm going to take out the enemy king there. We are indeed going to zap that eagle artillery. And we damage the scatter shot a little bit, but don't take it out. Are we going to RC that scatter shot? Ooh, I'm guessing the king was supposed to walk in and take out the scatter, but we did not anticipate the Tesla farm there. And the Tesla farm took out the king's HP, and he's not going to get the scatter like we planned. How will nyx or nyx here adjust on the fly with the royal champion we're gonna go ahead and start the flybrid on this top side here we're still saving that royal champion we're gonna poison that headhunter now we're dropping the warden one more headhunter and some super minions coming out of the cc so we pop the warden ability super early we rage up the flybrid we still have that rc we could use her at nine o'clock if we wanted to two more freezes here no bass spells on this one we're also saving a blimp that we're gonna use right here from two o'clock with no coco loons in front because we're ballsy feeling ballsy today luckily that town that blimp makes it all the way to the town hall finds the tornado trap but the town hall goes down we do indeed use that rc from nine o'clock she's going to get the scatter shot and we're going to freeze the queen here dragon and rc are going to tag team that queen and absolutely melt her but two single target infernos on the back end are going to destroy us that rc goes down the dragons go down the warden goes down it looks like it's going to be a defense it looks like it's going to be a defense. Not quite going to get through this one. And unfortunately, it looks like it might be a somewhat low percentage defense considering the last two attacks were 95 and 98. This one's going to be significantly lower than the last two we saw. How much percentage points can we pick up here, though? Those super minions on the right side, are they at full health? And more like 75-ish percent health. One of them's going to get wrecked by the single. The other one's getting hit by an archer tower. <clears throat> we do have one archer to grab the gold mine over at 8 o'clock. But I think we're going to finish at 77% on this one after that one archer picks off the gold mine. That's going to bring the average destruction down for evil witches. But they're not out of it. This is still barely the second attack of the war. This is anybody's match here. We'll have to wait and see what Orphan Esports can do with their next few attacks here. And maybe evil witches can come through with a triple train and still finish with 13 stars. Never know. That archer will pick up the gold mine here, and it should get picked off by the archer tower after that. And we're going to finish at 77%. Nice try to NYX or Nyx here, but that one's going to fall just a little bit short. 
But you really like evil witches. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Mara Jade. And the man, the myth, the legend, Carbon Finn himself is in on Anita's base. Coming in with a zap, Lalo, guys. Look at this. He's got five zaps and three earthquakes. We're going to zap that clan castle. Drop one quake, two quake, three quakes to damage that inferno tower. Get rid of that clan castle. Baby dragon over at nine o'clock. Ice golem in at eight. Finds a couple of Teslas. Is Are there going to be more? I think there might be more. I recognize this base. In fact, it is indeed a Darkest Muzan base that we had to attack in the qualifiers. I think this is the one Itsu time failed on. Rip with Pekka Smash. Carbon Finn coming in with the Zap Lalo though. Two wall breakers to hopefully get Queen all the way into that multi-target Inferno. Royal Champion is going to take out that Eagle over at 9 o'clock, which is really good value. Wizard does make a funnel. Queen should be going in for that multi. She should be able to get the Sweeper as well, and maybe even the Expo if she paths correctly. I think she will grab that Expo and the Warden Platform with her ability. The Sui is looking good so far. She grabs the Expo. She grabs the Warden, and we're going to start that Lalo right here. From the bottom side, with a blimp in behind, a couple of minions. What was the hound for? Unfortunately, I feel like that was a swag hound. We got yetis in the clan castle. Okay. And here we go. Now we're going to start the lalo on the bottom side. Yes? Yes, indeed. I feel like we swagged a hound, but if he still triples, it's just because Carbon's an absolute god. We're going to use more lalo troops over here from 330 to push the lower group into the scatter shot. Cleanup minions are already down. Only a minute 20 left on the clock. We do have three headhunters to get the enemy queen on the backside. We still got to get through two scatter shots and a multi-target inferno. It's a lot of splash damage. We're hitting lots of red bombs. Send the headhunters from downtown, Carbon. Come on. Send the headhunters. You're late. You're late. You're late. We have to pop the warden ability now to save the loons. And the headhunters are not inside the warden ability. That's unfortunate, but they're still going to kill the enemy queen. Okay, that's good. We get through the multi. And we get through the wizard tower. Oh, the loons are so low on HP. Rip. It's not going to work. We get through the archer tower, but there's still one more wizard tower and an archer tower that's going to stop our air troops here. Oh, that's unfortunate. I feel like we swagged a hound on the bottom side. Did he mean to drop a loon in front of the blimp instead of the hound? I feel like he did. I feel like he did. I think if he drops a loon and the blimp instead of a hound and a blimp, I feel like that triples. This still might work. Hold on. Warden can honestly finish off the rest of the base. I think he's going to fall short on time. All the minions die. Warden can easily take out that wizard tower and the archer tower. I think it's a time fail. Warden snipes the wizard. Now he can get the archer tower, but there's only three seconds left on the clock. And we're going to finish again at 95%. Just like the first attack from Evil Witches, it's going to fall short. It's it's a time fail from Carbon Finn, even though he basically swagged a hound. Nice try to Carbon, but man, we are still tied on stars. 4-4 four to four after the second round of attacks. Orphan Esports are up on percent, though. 38.6 to 34.4. Here we go. In with the next attack for Evil Witches. Let's see if we can finally get the first triple of the war. And oh boy. Queen Charge Lalo. Here we go. Starting off with some early hogs at 6 o'clock to help make a funnel, it looks like. We're going to zap Quake, and we try to RC trick ability the scatter shot, but the ability doesn't go where we want. Oh, that's a mistake. She definitely tried to RC trick the scatter shot, but the ability went this way, that way, and down for the cannon. Oh, no. Are we going to be able to recover from that? We're going to funnel the right side with the king and a wizard. We're going to wall break on that cannon, I think, to the elixir storage. Okay. Queen will be able to reach the scatter shot. I think we're all right. Queen has access to the scatter shot. Just hopefully this isn't too much damage for the queen here. Two expos, a scatter shot, and the enemy queen. Oh, I think we're okay. She's going up for the eagle, though. She's not going for the scatter yet. We still got a ton of damage on the queen. Oh, she's going to keep going up. Is she going to go down for the scatter? Oh, no. Tsunami gifting another sub. Thank you so much. She goes back around for the scatter. We're going to rage her up again. Then she'll get the expo. Then does she go back up again? Oh my god, she does. This queen is a god. Hopefully the healers don't get in range of this multi-target inferno though. Because that would be disaster. 
She's gonna get both sweepers. She's gonna get the second scatter. She's gonna get the enemy RC. This queen charge is so much value if we can keep the healers alive. Oh my gosh, the healers are staying alive. We poison, we freeze. Oh, this is looking godly. We're gonna start the stone slammer on the bottom side to try and get it to work its way up toward that multi-target inferno. Tsunami gifting another sub, what a god. And the stone slammer does go to the multi. The queen's never gonna die. Oh my gosh, this charge, guys. This charge is so good. The tornado trap and two sticking air mines on the stone slammer here. We've only got a minute and three seconds to do this Lalo. We need to freeze that town hall. We do freeze the town hall. We need to haste into the town hall. Come on, come on, come on. We do haste. There it is. Get to that town hall. Pop that warden ability. Queen is still going outside the base and getting a ton of value. The warden ability was money. Do we have pathing to the last multi-target inferno? We do. And we even have one more freeze for the multi and the wizard. Guys, this base is wrecked. As long as we got time for cleanup. Tesla farm on the back end isn't going to do anything. There's an open wall so the queen can just finish everything off. We got a dragon from the stone slammer doing cleanup in the core. This at attack was sexy. You got to admit, that was a nice queen charge Lalo. Even with the RC ability going the wrong way. Who needs the RC ability? We basically just swagged. A quake and a zap we didn't even need them we didn't even take advantage of the quake and the zap we didn't even need them op attack there from evil witches and just like that they take the lead with a clan clash triple right there they are up seven to four on stars rip carbon's base indeed oh man they don't give me time to breathe we're already in with the next hit mito coming in on base number five <clears throat> let's do it Zap Lalo here. We're going to zap that clan castle. Mara Jade coming in with a 300 bits. Thank you so much. We're going to get the clan castle down. We're going to get that. No, we did not get the scatter shot. Okay, we can't reach the scatter shot, but we did get an inferno tower and the clan castle, and that's about it. We're going to use a wizard over here to help funnel the queen and the king in toward this town hall. RC on the right side. Hopefully, she can get the scatter shot. That would be money if she does. King goes up where we want him to. Queen needs to go inside now. Queen needs to go inside now. Queen's not going inside. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Queen. Oh, no. Queen's not going inside. Single target Inferno locks onto the queen. We're going to freeze it. Queen's not going inside. Mito, why didn't you funnel? We have a swag ice golem on the outside of the base. Oh, rip Mito. We're not getting that town hall with the Sui. We will get the sweeper, maybe? Does Queen get the sweeper? Oh, the scatter shot? Okay, she gets the sweeper. She gets the air defense with her last shot. Wow. Okay, four ground expos. We're going to send the stone slammer in for this town hall. It will wake up the town hall on its first drop. And no sweepers to worry about. He can still do this. He can still do this. Let's do it. Let's see it, if he can get it done. Hound from the left side of the base. We got two more hounds and only one air defense, so he needs to send those hounds sooner rather than later. Here comes the second hound. Third hound from 6 o'clock. Hurry, send it now. Mito, send it now or it's going to be too late. We're going to pop that warning ability to save those three loons in the core. Was it worth it? I don't know. The, the headhunters are going to get absolutely dicked down by these ground expos. They stand no chance. Four ground expos? Yeah, your headhunters are bye-bye. You had to get the headhunters inside the warning ability. Oh, that's unfortunate. What just hit the RC? Did he just, he just loon dropped the RC, but she still has one HP. The dragon's gonna kill her. RC is down. We got a Lava Hound tanking at six with no loons. Need to use this haste sooner rather than later. Come on, Mito, use the haste, use the haste, use the haste. We're not gonna use the haste, that's okay. One loon gets three buildings at six o'clock, that's godly. The dragon is full health. This, I think this is a triple. Wow. <clears throat> Minions over at 3, 37 seconds on the clock. Dragon takes out the Archer Tower. Dragon and Balloon take out the Wizard Tower. The rest of the loons are going to do cleanup. Minions at 10 o'clock get the storage. 28 seconds to go. We even have the haste for cleanup if we need it. And he is going to drop it. Loons splitting in two different directions. Oh my gosh. Even after the failed Sui, we come through and triple the base with a swag haste. Mito, the god, just like that, ties up the war on stars again. 
And now Orphan Esports are up on percent, 58.6 to 54.4. All the pressure right back onto Evil Witches. Now they need to triple again to take the lead. <clears throat> but here we go. The next attack for Evil Witches is in on Mito's base. And Evil Witches coming in with a mass witch attack. It suits their name. We're going to zap Quake both scatter shots. Both scatter shots are down, and we're just going to send all these witches in with five ice golems, two super wall breakers. Here we go. Just all of them coming in. That first super wall breaker got zero value. That's a little unfortunate. Now we send the ice golems to tank for them. One more wall breaker to bust open this town hall compartment. That one does get there. Pulls a skelly trap. Headhunter's coming out of the CC. We're going to drop the siege barracks as well, right there at 8 o'clock. <coughs> We need everybody to path toward that town hall. Come on. Ice golems are popping all over the place. We got one free spell that we're maybe going to use on the town hall. Or are we just going to pop that warn ability? Just pop that warn ability. We're going to save that free spell for the Royal Champ later on. There are three single target infernos on this base. Are we going to use that RC early or are we going to wait and use her later? One balloon that we use on the mortar over on the outside. It's hard to tell if this is looking good or not. Not quite sure if the witches are dying. It's hard to tell. There's a tornado trap popping at 1030. Where are we going to use that RC? Need to use her sooner rather than... Here we go. Dropping the RC at 4 o'clock. She's going to go in for that single target Inferno. If she gets locked onto, we're going to drop that freeze. But the skellies, the skellies are tanking for that RC. That's actually really OP. She is going to get locked onto here. Do we have to drop the freeze? I don't think we do. RC doesn't get her ability off? Oh, I don't blame her. I wouldn't have dropped the freeze either. I thought the, the Inferno was going to go down to the Skellies, and it didn't. The RC dies without getting the shield off. That's super unfortunate. We still got a ton of witches in the core here, though. Queen had to pop her ability. Warden died to something. King died as well. Can these witches stay alive? It all comes down to that. If the witches get targeted, we're in trouble. If the witches don't get targeted, this still might work. Queen's going to get targeted. What the heck is Queen doing there? What? <laughs> she just walked around all those buildings to go target the mortar. What a silly queen. Three witches here are going to try to take out the single, but they're getting targeted by the archer tower. I can't tell. We got four witches on the left side here trying to beat this Tesla farm and one archer tower. And they... Oh, one witch gets targeted. A second witch gets targeted. Oh, we're losing witches fast. The Archer Tower is going to lock onto another witch, and that's going to be a defense. It's a defense for Mito. Wow, that was a little bit unfortunate. I think if we did drop the freeze on that Inferno, the RC stays alive. Could have used her ability. She definitely would have gotten at least three or four of these defenses, and that would have been a triple. I think if we use the freeze on that 3 o'clock Inferno, it's a triple. But hindsight is 20-20. To be fair, when I was watching that attack live, I thought the Skellies were going to take out that single before it, it roasted the RC, and she probably thought the same as well, and that's why she didn't drop the freeze. Nice try there to Maria. But it's going to be a defense, which means Orphan Esports really have a chance here to get a commanding lead if they get another triple. Here we are. Next attack in for Orphan Esports. It's Peivu, the god himself, coming in with a Queen Charge hybrid. We're going to use an early blimp here on the scatter shot at 4 o'clock with a rage spell. Try and get as much value as we can. Skelly trap pops. Can we take out that RC? Ooh, I think we can. Come on, get that RC down. Get that RC down. Oh, the RC stays up. Yeti mites are going to get the warden tower down, which is nice, but that RC stays up with just a little bit of HP. Queen over at 3 o'clock to walk up. We're going to go in with the early Yeti funnel on that cannon. And a wizard to snack the barracks there. We want Queen to go inside to that single target Inferno Tower compartment. And we do have two super wall breakers. We're going to rage up that Queen. Going to have to freeze as well, I think. There goes the freeze spell. Coco Loon perfectly picks up a black bomb there. There goes a wall breaker to get Queen access to that town hall. Queen kills the RC. Queen kills the headhunter. We did freeze the super minions. And we missed the poison. Oh no, Peivu. Hey, boo! That cost us the queen ability. That air sweeper is doing a lot of work here against our healers. 
Do we have any more rages? We don't. So we're going to have to hybrid into the town hall in order to save this queen. Here come the hybrid troops from the top side. King on the outside to funnel them. Queen's going to wake up that town hall. We don't have any freezes. Oh, this queen might die. Come on, come on, queen. Stay alive. Stay alive. Oh, it's going to be close. Ah! Queen gets wrecked by the expo. We're popping that warden ability, but we do get an OP healer switch here. We're going to drop headhunters for the enemy king and queen. We're going to have to heal really soon. Come on, heal, 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 heal. There we go. We're healing over the Inferno Tower and over the enemy queen. Those headhunters got absolutely roasted. Miners are going to make their way into the queen. Of course, the Eagle Artillery locks onto our, our Roa champion. Why would it want to target the miners? I don't know. Eagles are weird. Here we go. We're pathing through the bottom side of the base. There's our last heal spell. Hopefully, this Roa champion does not get targeted by the single target Inferno. That would be unfortunate for Peivu here. Miners are making their way to that Inferno Tower. We don't have the Road Champ ability, but we still have healers. I think it's a clan clash. Guys, healers on the hybrid is broken. Look at this. My goodness. Queen did not get as much value as we wanted her to, but it doesn't matter. Healers on Miners. Healers on Road Champ. OP. This is a triple. And just like that, Orphan Esports take a commanding lead in this war here. That RC is not going to die. She's going to get all these Teslas thanks to those healers. 25 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time to get these last few buildings. And bing, bada bang, bada boom. That's a triple for Peivu. And Orphan Esports are up 10 stars to 9. Evil Witches, no matter what, have to triple their last attack here to stay in the war. We're in. Anita for Evil Witches. In with their last attack. It's got to be all or nothing. We need a triple here to stay in the war. And she's coming in with a Queen Charge Hybrid. One of the best attacks in the game. Let's see if she can get it done. Baby Dragon to funnel on the top side. Queen at 11. We find a bunch of Teslas early. We find a Skelly Trap. We're in a wall break to give Queen access to a scatter shot. The Clan Castle troops and the Town Hall here. I'm a little worried about the healers being inside the range of the Giga Inferno beams. But we might, if we freeze the Town Hall, it'll probably be okay. Poison the Super Minions. Freeze the Headhunters. We're doing everything perfect so far. That Queen still, she's taking a lot of damage. Oh, we have to pop the ability. Super unfortunate, but that was a good call. We definitely needed the ability there. That defensive CC is crazy strong. We're going to have to freeze this Town Hall to save the healers, I think. Freeze the Town Hall, please. Freeze the Town Hall, please. Freeze it. Yes, we do. Freeze the Town Hall. Rage the Queen. Okay. We're going to start the Siege Barracks on the top side. Hybrid in from 11. Here we go. It all comes down to this hybrid. How much value can the hybrid get? Can we push through the entire base? Healers switch to the hybrid even though the Queen was taking damage. What? Okay. Healer AI is just something else. That was kind of goofy if you ask me. I think the healers should have stayed on the Queen at least until she died. But we do have healers on the hybrid, and you guys know how OP healers on hybrid is. Wizards on the outside, but we got nothing path into that multi in the core. Oh, we got Siege Barracks Hogs going in the multi in the core. That's good. We need to get through this King and Scattershot on the back end. Road Champ still at full health with ability. That's our last heal spell, but we still got two healers alive. They could keep these Hogs going for a while here. Road Champ gets through the Scatter. Miners all die to the enemy King. That's not good. But the eagle goes down to the hogs. That is good. Pop that RC ability. But without any spells. Oh, this single target inferno is going to destroy our RC. It's going to be close, but I think it's going to fall short. And there is a skelly trap as well. Plenty of time on the clock. Do we have enough miners and wizards to pe power through this? Hold on. How many miners are there? We might still get this. Warden at full health. Inferno tower beam is stuck on a wizard. We're going to get through this. We might just pick this up. Warden's going to snipe. No, he's going for a wizard tower. Warden, snipe the Inferno. Warden. Oh, the Warden stays alive. That's so clutch. But the giant bomb kills all of the miners. And the Warden, the King is going to defend. Wow, that was close. But it's a defense. 92%. And Orphan Esports just need to two-star to win the war. That was close. That could have gone either way. Wow. Evil Witch is going to finish with 11 stars here. And Orphan Esports have a chance to come in and get a 13 star war. Let's see if they can do it. And Loch Ness Monster is in with the last attack of the war. Let's see if Orphan Esports can finish with 13 stars here. We're going for a zap. 
flybrid attack here. We're going to zap that clan castle. Use a bunch of earthquakes here to damage that inferno tower. We're going to try to RC trick it. Does she go for the air defense or does she go for the mortar? She goes for the air defense. We're going to pop that ability. Down goes the inferno. She even got the air defense with her ability. Wow. That was nice. That was neat. Wizard to help funnel some of these trash buildings. RC even picks up an archer tower there. King over at 8. We're going to send the flybrid troops in from 6 maybe if I had to guess. Queen at 8 as well. And here comes a dragon and a balloon. Here come the rest of the troops that King gets locked onto by the single. We're not going to freeze. We're just going to let him die. Unfortunately, he doesn't even get that air defense. Queen's going to get stuck on a storage here, so that air defense is going to start popping off on our dragons here. Flybrid moving through. We're going to invest one free spell to get that air defense and the single target Inferno in it. Queen's going to pop her ability, get the air defense down. We're going to rage over the town hall, pop that warden ability. Unfortunately, we miss a bunch of dragons with the warden ability. The warden was just being a silly goose and didn't want to cover everybody. Everybody making their way into this quarry here, though, where we do have a multi-target Inferno and two scatter shots. And all we got is two freezes. We're going to use one on the left side scatter. A couple of super minions make their way over there. Do we have enough to push through this? I don't know. Down goes the left side scatter. We find a tornado trap in the core here. That right side scatter is still up. It's going to kill that one super minion on the right side. And everything's dead. Eagle artillery on the back end is doing a lot of damage. Would this have been a victory for evil witches? If that weird he healer AI didn't happen on the last attack? I don't know. We're going to check out the percentage. This one's going to be a low percentage attack for Orphan Esports. And they're going to finish at 12 stars. GG's to both clans. This is going to be 68%. 1% shy of the magic number. But nevertheless, it's going to be a victory. 12 to 11 for Orphan Esports. And let's check out the percent. No, we still had percentage in favor of Orphan Esports, even if that last attack for Evil Witches had gone through and tripled. I think Orphan Esports still come out with the victory on percent. So nice try to Evil Witches, but Orphan Esports get it done. They're going to win 12 to 11 here. Nice job to them.